one entirely self-appointed group of people who decide to clutter up a very beautiful public space in the heart of our capital should be treated with such exaggerated respect. I went down there yesterday afternoon and I talked to a lot of them. They have nothing interesting to say about economics. They know nothing about it. They have nothing interesting to say about anything, actually. They are simply a bunch of protesters who are, like everybody else, against poverty, war and injustice. Who isn't? Why should we treat them with such seriousness? And all, all this stuff about what would Jesus do? Jesus had nothing to do with politics and, and specifically rejected it. My kingdom is not of this world. These people should, should, these people should not should not be treated in social should not be treated as if they deserve exaggerated respect it's time they went home they're making a mess and they're, and they're, they're actually rather silly how can you say it's protest for protest sake these people represent a lot of people in this country who are sick of the way the capitalism is going they're absolutely sick of it i mean well, there are people all over the world rising up against their rulers in in different ways and these people have said that they are sick of political corruption, they're sick of politicians doing favours for big business. Even if you want capitalism, why can't we create a new capitalism that puts people first? When banks have problems, we, what is it called, recapitalise the banks? Why don't we recapitalise people? We don't care about people. And so these people, have, these people have gone out there, they're desperate. And in fact, I saw a slogan saying, where would Jesus be? Of course Jesus would be out there with the protesters. Jesus spent you, all his time in the poor. Jesus, Jesus how, spent how all his that? life, how do you know regardless that? of how religious you are, you don't have to read the, read the Bible. You can read writers around the Bible who, not, who said that Jesus walked amongst the poor. And not only would Jesus be out there, you know you've got the Archbishop of the Canterbury saying he shows support, he understands the feeling of these people. In my humble opinion, the Archbishop of Canterbury, uh, Canterbury should be out there too. The church should be out there because that mm -hmm. is the work of the church, defending the poor against big business and big institutions. So they should be demonstrated. Theresa May. It, there are some extra powers for mm -hmm. the Westminster Council and Greater London mm -hmm. Authority, and they will be working with the police to decide what they do in relation to Parliament. Would you like there. to see them go? And would you like to see the protesters yes. outside St Paul's go yes, as well? Personally, yes, I would like to see them. Uh, like to see them go. Why? We will look at the. We will look at the issue of... Why, why would you like the, to see them go? I would like to see them go because I think St Paul's is a very important uh, site. I think it's a, it's, we're, what we're looking at is an image of the UK and I think it's important um, that people who are coming to the UK are able to visit sites like that and they're able to carry on operating. But the point about is the, is, are there some issues about what we need to do in terms of how capitalism operates? I mean, I was very interested. These are anti-capitalist protesters, but we have seen photographs of them eating, drinking their Starbucks coffee and using their Mac computers. She got, I mean, she got, but thank heaven we're not a democracy in this country. I thank heaven there are restraints. Sorry, can you repeat that again? I said thank heaven we're not a democracy in this country. The, the politicians in this country, they, they, they sit at the heads of, of parties, which if they tried to hold a flag day, no one would give a penny to. They rely entirely on dodgy billionaires and state support to keep themselves going. They represent almost nobody. They are themselves immensely incompetent and inexperienced. They brought us nothing but disaster, mass immigration, uncontrolled crime, the worst education Only system. Only the, the worst, the, the worst the it would I, Look, I could like do a better major job. Major job the world. You, any day of the week, I could carve a better <laughs> chance to shut the world up and Why should we be so glad to, to be run by these people who have no experience of anything and don't know anything and make a mess of everything they do? What, the crisis that we're in at the moment is caused by democratically elected politicians, allegedly. Why shouldn't you, why shouldn't you be glad that somewhere in our system there are restraints on them? I'm okay. personally delighted. I think I, it should, 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 should. I, I,